Producers ask me all the time, how should I sell my first drum kit? So today I am going to break down how we launched our new Slick Shit Volume 1. I'll walk you through step by step to understand how we sold 5K in the first 10 days and how you can apply these same marketing tactics to your sample kits, your drum kits, or any producer product. And how to make your first five grand in 10 days. And before I start, there is a link to the drum kit below so you can take a look at what we use to sell the kit. It's nothing special, but it works. And this actually brings me to my first point. If you wanna save yourself hundreds of thousands thousands of dollars, then listen closely. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. When launching a new drum kit, especially if it's your first time, what you wanna do is called website hacking. This is a process where you're gonna break down exactly what other producers are doing online to sell their drum kits. Why? Because companies have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars making sure people buy their drum kits on their websites. Picking the right layout for their websites, the right colors, uh, the copywriting, the pictures that they use. What you wanna do is actually take this information and you wanna use it to sell your kit and this is going to save you a lot of time energy and money so go to saucewareaudio.com and take a look at exactly what we are doing to sell our products on our website there's a reason why when you hover over the buy button it lights up orange and not green because when it lights up green nobody buys when it lights up orange people buy and this is really important we like to use Shopify but you can use any company that you want to host and build your website for most producers building a website will be the biggest task on today's list so give yourself time to build a website Website, but make sure it's not overly complicated. This shouldn't take you more than three to four weeks at max. To sell 5,000 in 10 days, it's important to have a nice looking website, but it's more important to follow through on this next step because you'll never sell more than 5,000 without it. Number two, what's in your pack counts? Are your drum sounds amazing? Do you make insane samples? Your choice of sound selection really matters here. You're gonna be competing with a lot of products and producers online, so you need to know where your strengths lie. If this is your first time launching a pack, then please, please spend time making sure it is the best that it can be. If you lay a solid foundation with amazing sounds at this point on your first pack, then word of mouth will spread and it's gonna help you to sell more on your next pack and so on. Number three, it's value. You're not gonna sell anything in the producer community if you don't bring value to that community. When launching a product, you want to over deliver over deliver guys. If someone is spending $30 inside of your store, you want them to feel like they're getting more than what their money is worth. This is gonna make them return and buy more products from you in the future. This is why you see so many bonuses that come included with products when you buy them. We felt that drums were the best opportunity to add value to our community and to our existing customers. So to do this, we partnered with Slick. We used his ear to create the best drum one shots. And to bring extra value in this drum kit, we included hi-hat MIDI FL mixer presets, percussion loops, melodic samples, and a whole bunch more, over 250 files in total. This lets producers know that they're getting a lot more than just a drum kit. Promoting. Now that you have the product offer with value, how do you go about promoting it and actually selling it? For our drum kit, we started with a promotion calendar one month out from the release. So over four weeks, we would slowly ramp up the content and build awareness about the upcoming drum kit. At the start, we would subtly mention the kit in videos, but we didn't give too many details. As we got closer, we continued to reveal more information, and this is how you build hype. In 2022, hype is super important to your launch. In promoting, we used two things, only two things, and you guys can do it today. And this really helped to create curiosity about what was coming. That was email and that was Instagram. To get producers to join our email list, we created a blog post announcing the upcoming kit. And at the top, we asked producers if they wanted a taste of what was coming. In exchange for their email, we gave them free 808s from the upcoming kit. This helped producers start to see what the drum kit could actually bring to their production. Email is still really, really important. A great example of this is how Yeezy and Gap have been selling their clothes recently. It's almost entirely through email. I'm sure you got some of the emails. So email isn't dead. So that you fully understand the money that you're email list can actually be bringing to you. Your email list should be able to provide roughly $1 per producer that's on that list per month. So if you have 100 producers on your email list, then you should be able to have at least $100 worth of products being sold per month. You get 10,000 producers on the list and now you're making over $100,000 per year. So start by giving away free products in exchange for someone's email just like we did. Another thing we crushed was Instagram Reels. Right now Instagram is fighting to keep people's attention on the platform. So Reels will show up in your feed more than any other post because Instagram is trying so hard to compete with TikTok. So we use this competition to our advantage. Our Reels fell into five categories of value. That was industry, tutorials and tips, conversation items, community highlights, 
and entreproducer clips. If you're wondering what an entreproducer is, it's probably you because you're watching this. It's an entrepreneur mixed with a producer. So that's you. To see what we did, check out our Instagram page and look at the videos that we released in July. This is gonna give you a good template of where you can start. You'll see that we also strategically collaborated on reels with other influencers in the community. If you don't have connection to those influencers, that's okay. You can still do this by collaborating with your producer friends. That way you're using their audience and yours to get ultimate reach. In total, we reached over 380,000 accounts in July, all for free. Almost 100% of the producers, this is crazy, 100% of the producers that we reached didn't even follow us. So that's a ton of new producers that found out about the drum kit this way. The way you can actually work in your drum kit into your reels without it feeling too spammy or promo is just like this. You wanna make a video that is all about helping producers, again, bring value. For us, that was five ways to help speed up your workflow. In this video, we give five great tips and it just so happens that we use our drum kit to explain how to perform these tips inside of FL Studio. So this gives a preview of the kit without it being too pushy. You can also mention in the comments that the sounds in the video are from an upcoming release. Speaking of the release, let's get into what we did on the release day. We sent on the email to anybody who had bought Scorch and to the people who got those free 808s. The email was our biggest driver of sales. On the first day, it actually accounted for almost 75% of all sales that day. We also released a video on YouTube going through all of the sounds and cooking up with it, making some beats. Sometimes your words aren't enough to convince somebody to go and buy the kit, so you have to have a video showing the content that's inside of the kit and how it's really gonna help level up their sound. I also went on Instagram Live twice that launch day to just answer any questions that producers might have had about the kit. We set up a discount code for 30% off the first three days, so if you bought in those three days, you got, a, you got a little sale and this helped with the urgency and we saw a majority of sales actually happen in those first three days. That's where we got the majority of our money. But at the end of the 10 days, we had a total of $5,000 in our account. And on top of that, we also got to upsell a bunch of other products like Octave and Scorch. So we actually made more money, but today I am just specifically talking about the drum kit. So next, how do we get to $100,000? Well, the hard part about dropping a kit isn't all the stuff that comes before it, it's after the kit is released and how to keep that excitement. And that's where paid advertising comes in. Everything that we did up until this point was free advertising, it was organic. So now we need to invest some of that free money that we earned into paid advertising. To scale this to six figures, we're gonna need to run Instagram ads, we're gonna have to pay YouTubers in the community to review the, uh, the product. We'll also need to create deals for the kit around some big upcoming events like Black Friday, and Christmas. We might even want to update the pack by adding new sounds, new drum sounds to the kit, and this will breathe new life uh, into the kit and allow new word of mouth to spread about how powerful the drums are. And also as producers, myself and Slick, we'll actually use the product and try and get some placements with it because we can actually leverage a placement to help sell more of the kit. So for instance, if we were to get a Drake placement, let's just say, fingers crossed, uh, it's gonna be really great to say we made that uh, beat using some of these Slick shit drum kit sounds sounds so you can go get those two and use them when you're cooking up and that's going to be a big selling point if we can do all of these things over the next 12 to 24 months i am extremely confident that we will sell six figures for this kit i'm sharing all this with you today to let you know that it is still possible to release a drum kit or a sample pack in 2022 that has big impact there's definitely an investment in time and energy building out those systems and figuring out in the early stages what works but once you have them set each release becomes a little bit easier let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions about anything that I talked about in the video today I can try and help you out and if you want to check out the new slick shit volume one head on over to Sauceware audio use the code slick and you're gonna get five dollars off the kit I'm Jacob aka my best friend Jacob I'm here for Sauceware audio and I'll see you next time